If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes. Also, click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new recipe on the channel. Hello, Namaste. These days, many are going vegetarian for various reasons. And today, I'm going to share a different recipe that is 100% vegetarian or I can say vegan. This can be served as a snack or can also be put into your curries. Those who miss the meat will love it. Believe me, because I eat both the foods. Please note the ingredients needed to make kathal masaleda. List of all the ingredients and some special tips is given in description below. Don't forget to check it. First of all, we need raw green jackfruit. You will cut it into pieces and remove the seeds from it and boil it. Because I could not get the fresh one, so I am using the frozen one which is already boiled. So this is already clean and I have this in a bowl. So to this jackfruit, either you boil it or you use the frozen one. Add in half teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder. Half teaspoon of red chilli or lal mirch powder. Here comes homemade ginger garlic paste or adrak lesson ka paste. Add 1 tablespoon full hair and little bit of salt or namak. Mix nicely. Now add in rice flour or chawal ka atta and chickpea flour or besan. Now mix it well with your hands. See it is coating the jackfruit or the kathal pieces. Now sprinkle some water and use as much water as required to make a batter like thing like this so that it coats each piece. The gently pick up the pieces and fry them on medium heat. And I am using mustard oil or sarsoka tail for best flavor. You may use oil of your choice. Gently flip and fry these jackfruit pieces. Now they are done. I have put sticks in few of them to give them kebab like look. Sprinkle some chaat masala over it. And these vegetarian jackfruit kebabs are ready. You can serve them with mint chutney. Check the recipe. Restaurant style mint chutney. We can also enjoy these pakoras with our masala chai. Check the recipe of masala chai also. Now we need to make gravy of these pakoras. I am heating 3 tablespoon of oil. Here I have big onion or pyaz. Then I am going to make paste along with 2-3 green chilies or hari mirch. Now in the oil add in cumin seeds or zira. Let it splutter. Add in onion chili paste. When it fries for about a minute, add in 1 tablespoon ginger garlic or adrak lesson paste. Let it fry for about 2 minutes. Add in half teaspoon turmeric or haldi, half teaspoon red chili or lal mirch powder, 1 teaspoon coriander or dhania powder and little bit of salt. And now mix and fry these masalas until they are cooked well and leave the edges of the pan. Now the masala is ready. Add in some water. I am adding about 500 ml water here. I will check salt if it is less. Now cover and let this masala come to a boil. It will take about 2 to 3 minutes on medium heat. When it's Boiled, add in half teaspoon of homemade aromatic garam masala. Check the recipe of garam masala too. Add in fried jackfruit pieces or the jackfruit pakoras. Mix well and let the masalas be absorbed by the pakoras. Cover and let it cook for 3-4 minutes on medium heat only. After 3 to 4 minutes, just check this. Most of the water is absorbed because I am making a drier version. Add in finely chopped cilantro and little bit of lemon juice to your taste. You may also add chopped green chilies. 
So, Kathal Masale Dar is ready to be relished. Enjoy with Tandoori Roti, Naan, Rice. Thanks for watching. 